Hey everybody, it's Luke over at Galaxy Tech Review, and I have a product from New Rice today. This is their phone stand, which is a two-in-one Qi wireless charger and Bluetooth speaker. You can check this guy out on Amazon at the time of this video for $24.99, and I'll have a link in the description below where you can check that out. Uh, going around the box, it is a plain white box, so there's not much going on here. So let's bust this guy open and take everything out, show you what comes with it. They have a little user manual here, a charge cable, and uh, the stand itself. We're going to stand out of here, and I like the build on the stand. I'll go over that in just a second. Uh, they do give you a charge cable here. It is a standard USB to micro USB charge cable. Uh, I'm going to actually plug this guy in because my battery on this is pretty low. So you can plug this into any USB adapter or your laptop's USB adapter. Uh, and what will happen is you'll have a charge port here on this side and an on-off switch on the other side. I'm going to just plug this in so that we don't have any interruptions during our actual review here. So the user manual, just kind of a flip out, shows you Bluetooth is a version 2.1 plus EDR. Product size is 90 by 75 by 87 millimeters. It does have that 3 watt speaker that is dual uh, firing, side firing there. Uh, your USB input is 5 volts at 500 milliamps, so when you are recharging this guy, it's going to take some time to recharge that 4400 milliamp battery that's in there. Now that 4400 milliamp battery will support up to 10 hours of Bluetooth playback, or if you're charging your phone as well, you're going to be, you're going to be taking from that 4400 milliamp battery. So, to charge the speaker, you have to charge it in landscape. You cannot charge this guy in portrait. That is one of the two things that I don't really like about this, is that you can't charge it in portrait. I think they could have added an extra inch to this guy uh, and allowed you to put a second coil in it to charge it in portrait mode, but that's okay. It's a minor gripe. It's not a big deal. Uh, and when this Bluetooth speaker comes up, it actually shows up as the device name is Siri, and I don't know if they were trying to take a bite out of Apple on that one, but it is kind of funny to me, so... Let us uh, show you the build quality on this guy as well. Now, this guy has some nice feet on the bottom, a passive uh, exit for sound to add, add a little bass here. Some LED lighting on the bottom that's going to show you uh, when it's charging. It also interacts when you play music, that type of thing. And it reflects off the surface that it's on. And the rubber feet do a good job at holding it in. You've got your two uh, speakers here, or two side-firing speakers here. Uh, and you also have a pretty... Uh, you know, solid uh, device here as far as the stand goes. I can put it on, no problems in portrait, and but I will not get the Qi charging, as you can see. Uh, if I turn it landscape, because if you look at it, for one, it's not turned on, so I'm not going to get it anyway. But if you look at it, you can see that it only goes about halfway up the phone. Uh, the coil is more towards the bottom. That's why they want you to put it in landscape. So let's turn this guy on real quick. The, and... Uh, it will give me a prompt and let me know, a voice prompt to let me know that it's powered on and it's ready to be paired. The Bluetooth device is ready to pair. Okay, so we're ready to pair. So it's quick and simple, just go into Bluetooth. It will come up as that Siri, which I think is pretty funny again. So there it is, Siri. We'll pair it up and it'll let us know. Bluetooth device is connected successfully. Now, this guy is connected for call and media audio, uh, so it, in theory, you should be able to use this as a speakerphone as well, but I have had mixed results with that. I do not know. I don't think they have a microphone in this. Uh, so we'll test it in uh, at the end, and uh, but I'm pretty sure in my testing, I could not get that to work. That's my second gripe. Again, minor. It's a charging station. It also has Bluetooth. Let's play some music here. So for three watt speakers, not bad. Better than your phone speaker for when you're watching movies. Uh, so you know if you want to watch movies on something better than your phone speaker, this guy will do it. Again, we'll put it in landscape. We'll put it in landscape, and it should come right up. And it does, as you can see. We are now wirelessly charging, so no problem there. It is a slow charge, um, so that's but that's still charging. And if I wanted to watch a movie, I could do that. And I'm getting text messages, so don't mind that. So if we want to watch a movie, I'll launch something like VLC, and I'll just pick a movie. I think I got Sucker Punch on here. 
I won't put that in there. The cook. Okay. And the last thing's a key. Blue has a key around his neck. So we've got this, and it plays fine. So it actually does really well. I'm sorry, the warning right there is the fact that I had the volume all the way up, and it will give you a beep warning there to let you know. So it does very well at playing uh, movies. It's a good stand, nice and solid construction. The only two things I wish they had done was put that pinhole microphone in it and made this guy a little bit taller so it could have been a dual coil so that you could have had this uh, charge in portrait as well. Uh, as far as the calling goes, I will make a quick call with this. And just to test the calling, it will come out of the speakers. T-Mobile. How can I help you today? You can say anything from representative to how many minutes do I have to make a payment? So briefly, tell me the reason for your call. Representative. Sorry, I didn't get that. So that's the thing with that is they could have easily put in a micro, uh, pinhole microphone in this and made it be able to be a speaker phone or have conversations over it as well, but they didn't do that. So that's my second gripe with it. Beyond that, it does what it's supposed to do. It, it does wireless charging great. It's great for watching movies, as you saw. The sound is pretty decent on it. I don't have any problems with the sound. And it has built-in Qi charging, which is another thing that's really great as well. So this was the stand. I, beyond those other two uh, minor gripes that I had about adding a second coil and adding a pinhole mic, uh, that is pretty much the only two things that I can say to maybe improve the product. For $24.99, if you're looking for a good media consumption stand that will wirelessly charge your device and be better for speaker-wise than your actual phone speakers, then for $24.99, this guy is a good deal. Uh, so I take a few points off for the couple things that I said there, but overall they did a solid job on this, so I'm definitely giving it a thumbs up. This was Luke from Galaxy Tech Review. If you have any questions or comments about this guy, leave them in the comments section below. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Remember to like and subscribe, and I'll check you guys out on the next video.